GPS is a technology we use every day, but we rarely take the time to stop and think about how remarkable it is that it works at all. We're finding our position anywhere on Earth using satellites that are 20,000 miles above our heads and transmitting with the power of a light bulb. We're the founders of Swift Navigation, and we build a GPS that's 100 times more accurate than the GPS in your cell phone for all sorts of autonomous vehicles, from self-driving cars to drones to autonomous tractors. I was a physics major at Cambridge and just got completely obsessed with this project to figure out could we be the first amateur group to launch a rocket to 100 kilometers. One of the big challenges we faced though was figuring out if we actually achieved our goals, how high did the rocket go? And that was my first exposure to GPS technology. Ferguson and I met at Joby Energy, which is a company developing high altitude wind turbines. And for that project, we needed a really accurate GPS receiver. Eventually, Joby Energy shut down and most of the team went to a Google X project. Colin and I had a really serious decision to make. Were we going to join them or were we going to found a company to bring the GPS technology we developed to market? We got a small seed investment and we worked for about a year out of a barn in the woods above Santa Cruz. Through a mutual friend, I actually got set up with Colin at a tiki bar. I, I sat there, it was kind of funny, sitting there with like a pina colada and, and, and with this total dork. I mean, he's a <laughs> handsome dork, but his total dork, right? he's realizing like, oh man, the applications here are huge. We believe that autonomous systems are inevitable, but they unfortunately are limited to 15 foot accuracy, which is not good enough for them to navigate the world. If we want to see a world of autonomous robotics, we need a centimeter accurate GPS. The only competitive solutions cost seven to ten thousand dollars. You're not going to put that in a commercial vehicle. If we want to build an autonomous future, we needed to lower the cost of the system. Take autonomous cars, for instance. There's 35,000 people a year who die in the U.S. in car crashes. And there's no reason that really needs to happen. And precise location is one of the technologies that's going to allow us to build self-driving cars that will prevent that in the future. And it's not just cars. This technology has a huge range of applications, from autonomous lawn mowers to precision agriculture to space applications. In the farm of the future, you'll go and fly your drone in the morning, and it will take images of your entire farm. And then in the afternoon, you can put that back into your tractor, redrive over the exact same points, and apply the precise amount of fertilizer needed to each plant. I mean, we get to be an enabler for a future of autonomous vehicles. Literally the things that will get you to work safely or get the food on your table with a greater degree of security and productivity to feed the world to taking people out of some of the most dangerous working environments in the world. We're very grateful to have the opportunity to enable all of these applications of the autonomous future.